Hey guys, how are you doing? I wanted to do a quick review on this guy right here. This is the Wanwu Studios Fission Spinner. I actually was able to pick this guy up um, in a sign up sale on the Surplus Depot Facebook group. If you guys are ever interested in buying any of these things, Facebook groups are huge. So basically it's it's a sign up sale where you're where you basically put your name in and what you might want to get and then they, they do a raffle and then if you can actually if you win you they can tell you hey you can buy this thing <laughs> but when you put your name in there it's a, it's essentially like you're buying the thing and if you don't actually go through with the sale after you win or if you win they kick you out of the group so it's pretty serious so i signed up for a couple of things and this is the thing that they allowed me to buy so this is the fission spinner by wan Wu studios at first, I was like enamored with it. I was like, what? But now, um, now that the newness is worn off, there's a couple of problems. So let me, um, let me, let me walk you through this. So first of all, this is um, stainless steel. Uh, they do have a model that, uh, that has these black accents that looks pretty awesome. Now, this thing right here, uh, this whole thing comes off, but this thing right here, if you see, this whole thing comes off, and in here is where you can put those, like, trillium glow stick things, so that's what I think this thing is really meant for, to have those. If you, if you were to, like, Google Wan Wu Fission Spinner, you'll see, like, the glow sticks in there, and it comes off on the other side as well. The only problem is, is that when you're spinning it, it they come, they kind of come loose anyway. But what makes this thing cool, other than that, because these things can spin independently, is these little arms. So when you're spinning it, it, it with the centrifugal force, these arms come out. So it looks pretty cool. All right, so let me give it a little whirl. So the only place that you can put your finger is right here so there's two grips there's one grip on each side um and so you put your finger here and then you just kind of flick it now sometimes it's hard to get a good flick going um but what is interesting is when it stops spinning it'll oh did you hear that one one of the arms will stop spin will like click closed and then the other one will click closed after so i think only one arm is out now come on stop spinning this is like youtube gold right here oh no they both click closed sorry all right hold on let me just do it take one. slow it down oh, shit I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show it to you maybe if I do it like not so hard nah well anyway if you spin it um after a while when it starts to slow down one arm will go click and then the other arm goes click so that's pretty neat it's heavy um let me show you something like for reference how big it is sorry I'm disorganized I've got this guy right here. I just reviewed this guy. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> Woo. And then I've got the XS, XXS. I don't know why I can't pronounce it. So here, it's a pretty nice size. The button itself is comfortable, but it's just awkward to try to spin it. It's really hard to get a good spin on it. Um, and then on top, oh, I'm not even holding it right. And then on top of that, when you spin it, oh, but that's pretty cool. When you stop spinning it, it these little things keep going. So, see? So this thing, this, this spinner has like a lot of bells and whistles. See all the moving parts? 
but see it, it these little these little round things come undone when you spin it a lot so i will say that initially i was in love i even I even like slept with it in my pocket I was like so in love with this thing but over time I realized that it wasn't very practical I'd say it's a great collector's piece and fun uh, if you want to put those glow things in but to spin it on here it's um it hurts that little part hurts and then also, you can, it's hard to get a good spin going with the one hand. I wonder if it even warps. Can't see a warp. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I see a warp going on. Yeah, there's a little bit of a warp. There's a little bit of a vibration, not much hap not much feedback. But it, it definitely does not spin long. But again, it's more... It's more of a gimmicky thing. See, each time you gotta close those little babies up. Um, these parts were getting loose, but I, I found a little tool to tighten them up, so they're they're good now. But I mean, super cool spinner, but not an everyday carry. Definitely not. Um, super cool to show off to people and say, Yo, look at this spinner I've got. It spins and then spins other parts and you can put glow things in it. But like, are you gonna wanna spin it every day? No. So what did I pay for it? I paid for it, I paid uh, like 140, I think 140 or 145. Uh, I've seen it on AliExpress, the cheapest at like 160. So, um, do I think it's worth it? If this is your thing, yes. If you enjoy putting the glow things in and you like like moving spinners, you know, where the things pop out and you're not a wuss like me and care about hot spots, um, then yes, it's definitely worth it. If, I mean, if you're looking for a comfortable everyday carry, this is definitely not it. And I mean, it's obviously not it. But I mean, this thing is well built and awesome and heavy. Um, and it's got some great, you know, things about it. But I am going to, as soon as I'm done with this video, list it for sale. <laughs> because I am not into the glow things and the newness is worn off. And I don't use it now because it hurts my little finger. Um, and I could use the money to buy more awesome stuff. Yep. So there's the Wan Wu Fission Spinner. Well, anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Please hit the like and subscribe button, please. If you're liking these videos, let me know in the comments. Do you have one of these? Do you use those glow things? I've seen them for sale. Are they hard to use? Do they run out of glow stuff? Where do you take these when you use them with the glow stuff? Like, do you go to raves or something? Um, yeah. Do you have a spinner like this? Do you like it? I've actually, I mean, I like this thing so much when I first got it that I was looking for other spinners that had movable parts. But then now, the longer that I have it, I'm like, eh, really hard to get it to go and it's uncomfortable, um, and then it's also not very practical. But um, I mean, when it comes to fidgets, I mean, what is practical? I mean, it's all about taste, so. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in.